In today's tech tip, we're going to take a look at how to use and create layers. So layers are helpful for us when we're creating drawings so that we can assign specific properties to a layer and then we can assign annotations and drawing elements to that layer. So first, in order to create a layer, uh, let's go ahead and introduce and open up our layers toolbar. So the way that we'll do that is by right clicking anywhere up here at the top, come up here to the toolbars option and simply saying that we want the layers toolbar. By default, this should pop up on the bottom left hand side of your screen. From here, I'll, I can drag and drop it anywhere else I'd like. So you can customize this as well. So I'll just simply put it up here in some of this open space. So from here, if I wanted to change my init, um, layer, I can do so with the drop down. So you should see a list similar to mine here, per standard none. And then this is an item that's typically introduced in the default templates, just called format. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can create our own layer. So right next to this drop down is the layer properties. So I'm going to click on this and it's going to introduce a new dialog box. First, I want to cover a few things in the dialog box here. So we have the names of our layers. So we have that format. We also have a description we can set here. We also have the ability to hide or show that layer inside of our drawing, as well as hide or show that inside of our print. Then we can also change the color, the style, and the thickness. So to create a new layer, I can simply come over here to new, and then in here I can type in uh, a layer name. So for this demonstration, I'll just simply type in tech tip, and then in the description I might write in for dimensions okay and then in the color so that we know that we are actually making a difference let's go ahead and change the color to red and then we'll keep all the other items the same so once you've done that you might see this arrow pop up next to the name tech tip or your cr created layer so this arrow is telling you which is the active layer so if i press ok you'll see that the active layer is indeed tech tip so in here, if I change it back to none, none is the active layer, okay? So if I change this to tech tip, that means that every single new item that I introduce into my drawing is going to inherit that tech tip layer. So if I come up here to the top, let's say I add in a dimension, you'll see that automatically that it is a red color, okay? You can also assign items that have already been inserted a layer as well. So if I come over here and say none, and then I add in a center mark, for example, and as you can see, the center mark was introduced as a, a non red color, but I can go ahead and click that center mark, right click on it, and say change layer. And instead of none, I'll go ahead and say tech tip, and we should see that the center mark has also turned red. Now, over here, we had um, another one I wanted to introduce to you, which is per standard. So if you set your layers to per standard as the active layer, then it's going to inherit the settings from your document settings. So up here in the top, in the options, I can go ahead and say that I want uh, certain properties, in the, let's say in the dimensions, for whole callout, for example, if I wanted to change the layer of this to something else, for instance, tech tip, then that means that every time that I create a whole callout with a per standard option turned on, it's going to introduce all my whole callouts in that red font.